Welcome back to my channel. So it was highly requested that I do like a nighttime skincare routine. So that's what I'm doing today. And because I'm like so packed with makeup right now, I just thought it would be a good time for me to do a skincare routine tonight, okay? And do my nighttime skincare routine with you guys and like remove my whole makeup. And there you go, okay. If you guys, by the way, want to see how I created this whole look and if you want to see this tutorial, I did that on my Facebook page. I literally go live every single day on my Facebook page, which is called Lady Isha. I'll give you guys a link. Make sure you check out my daily makeup tutorials there and you will also find this one. I'll link it for you guys in the description, okay? Now let's move towards our video. As this is the little tray of products that I use. It's always here on the shelf and these are all the basic products that I use literally every single day and having them in like this little box. I got this one from Pound Shop. It just makes things so easy. So I actually have a lot of these uh, boxes for organizing my drawers and everything else and I also have them right here. They're white, they're plain and simple and, and they just make my life so much more easy. First of all, let's start with the cleansing. That is always our step number one and I'm using this little balm here because I'm going to do a Double cleansing okay and this is by the way just like a mixture of my favorite oils like coconut oil a little bit of avocado oil a little bit of almond oil that's what we have in there okay so I'm gonna actually start off by rubbing this onto my skin and like just melt away this makeup first of all okay to do your cleansing in two steps so you can choose whatever two steps you like I usually like oils and then I go ahead with my cleanser or you can do wipes first and then go ahead with your cleanser it's just your choice but definitely do two-step cleansing and especially if you have so much makeup on that is exactly what you need once you reach this step where everything just starts to melt I'm gonna use these cotton pads and just take off the melted makeup for my face. I always like to clean my lashes as well and then they're always ready for next use but well I'm gonna do that later. Once you have a few of these discs really really dirty and taken off a lot of makeup, next step I'm gonna go ahead and wet my face first and today I'm using this cleanser which is a salicylic acid cleanser it's a little drying so I don't recommend that for dry skin okay but it's really good for blackheads and stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and use that on red skin Come on, just wash my face. It looks like the makeup is all gone. Now, as my skin is still wet, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my favorite toner, which is our Youth Glow Toner, which is just such a refreshing product. It has aloe vera, rose, and neroli. Super good for brightening your skin and keeping those pores tight. It keeps your blackheads away as well as gives you like that oil control and it does not let your skin get dry because it has zero alcohol in there. So I'm gonna use a good amount of this. It smells so good. So I'll give you guys a link to this product. This is one of our best selling products. This is the Youth Glow Toner from Isha Cosmetics. It also has natural rose water in there which is why it's so good for open pores and stuff and I tend to get a lot of open pores around like my nose area and stuff. And as my skin is now still a little wet, I'm going to go ahead and apply Vitamin C Serum. I will give you guys a link to this one. I just recently got this one from Amazon and I thought it was really nice because it has all natural and organic ingredients. So I'm going to use this Vitamin C Serum. And it is always a good idea to apply your serums on like wet skin. And never forget your neck because your neck ages first. I'm gonna wait for about a minute and then move on to my moisturizer. You can use any moisturizer. The ones that I love is either Aveeno or CeraVe moisturizers. I feel like they are great. So today I am gonna be using my CeraVe moisturizer. If you guys want links to all these products, I will give you all the links to all of these products anyway. So make sure you check the description below. I bought like this huge tub of CeraVe moisturizer and because it's so huge I can't really carry that every day so I put that in this little container but this is the CeraVe moisturizer that I'm using, okay. Oh 
Okay, for everybody who has laugh lines, if you laugh a lot like me, then you probably have a little laugh lines. There's one exercise that you can do which goes something like this. And trust me, it helps. So do this every night as you apply your creams or your oils and it's gonna help you. Moving on, I always like to layer my moisturizers, okay? And the next one that I'm using is the Snow White. This is a Snow White cream by Secret Key. It has niacinamide in there and I am a fan of niacinamide. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and apply this only where I have a little dark spots or like freckles. I tend to have freckles right here and it really helps with problems like this. So here I have a little pigmentation here. It's like a natural contour I have on this side. I'm gonna apply it there. I also have a few freckles here around my nose and eyes. And yeah, just very little product, but it's a great moisturizer. And if you have any dark spots and stuff, it actually works very well for that. Okay. I applied actually a little bit too much today, hmm, but it's okay. So just rub it in. Usually this side of my skin always has so many problems. Like all my freckles are literally right here. So I apply a lot on this side, okay? And just a little bit here because I don't have too much hair. Just, I don't know why this happens. Does it happen to you guys where you have like one good side and one really bad skin side? I think it's the pillow effect probably. Okay, now that we are done with the serum and my two layers of moisturizers, I want to go ahead and also apply my eye cream. Now, recently I've been using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Refreshing Eye Cream and I find that quite nice actually. I also like to cover my eyelids because it just keeps them a little tight. And because I do makeup tutorials literally every single day on my Facebook page, so I really need to make sure my skincare routine is on point. So I always take care of my eyelids and stuff. So whatever cream and moisturizer and eye cream you apply, make sure that you cover your lids because it helps. Because my makeup always includes like really matte lipsticks, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this lip scrub. This is also available on ishacosmetics.com, but I love this lip scrub. It has like this really nice, texture look at that it smells yummy and it even tastes yummy it's 100 edible but it really takes off all your lipsticks and really exfoliates and takes care of your lips it makes them quite pink okay so if you have dark wrinkly patched dry damaged dark purpley lips this product is gonna help you it's gonna keep the lipstick damage away and keep your lips very smooth and hydrated and it tastes so good just wipe it off and you will see it literally starts turning your lips quite pink and like super plumpy and hydrated now let's move on to our next step now everything is soaked into my skin quite nicely the next step is one of these two. So sometimes I leave on the retinol on my skin and sometimes, well most of the time, I go in with the Youth Glow Face Oil because this really allows my skin some healing and some rest and I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. It literally smells like kiwi and apples together. It's just delicious. And it has really interesting ingredients. It has all the essential oils that your skin needs in order to be healthy and super super glowy and bright. So I love this product. This is again from the Youth Glow range and it's called the Youth Glow Face Oil. It also has these flowers in there which is very interesting. This is also called the Flower of Immortality and it's super super anti-aging. It's been used in the beauty industry since centuries and it's also quite discreet and expensive. So as I apply the oil, I like to just massage and take my time and just work on my features a little bit, you know. Just so you don't have a double chin, I do this because I eat a lot, so I tend to get a double chin, duh. So massaging every night like this really does help. And also massage your cheekbones like that, like upwards and round. It honestly helps contour your face naturally. And with the jaw, what you can do is do this. It gives you a smooth, refined jaw. I know I'm supposed to take off the earrings, but I just thought they really look cute for the aesthetics, you know. And then around your eye area, just go round and round like this. 
it really awakens your eyes. Next day, this facial oil is like one of the best oils that I've used. All right, facial oil is done. But as I said, sometimes I use the face oil because it's super brightening and stuff. And sometimes I use the ordinary retinol, which I use probably just two or three times a week in the night time. I don't think my skin needs retinol every single day. I think once I'm like mid 30s or 40 then I might just go ahead and apply retinol every day but for now I don't think I need it every single day. The next step which I love, now you guys always ask me what do I use on my eyebrows? I recently also cut my eyebrows a little short because I was just getting tired of like bigger eyebrows. If you want to know what I use, so I use the Isha Glam Lash Serum every day. This has vitamin C, vitamin E, as well as aloe vera and castor in there. And what that does, it really does give you fuller eyebrow hair. So if you're trying to grow your brows, by the way, you can use that. But only if you're trying to just keep your eyebrows healthy and in shape and fuller, go ahead and use this product. I also like to use this a little bit for my lashes. And also for my lower lashes, ever since I've been using this product, I have seen such a difference, like even in my mascara application. I never used to have fuller lashes, especially like on my lower lashes. But now, even like one or two coats of mascara for my under lashes go a long way because it really does give your lashes like a lot of strength and it makes them fuller and longer. Again, I'll give you guys a link to this one too. This is like my favorite product. I use this literally every single day. And it also has like really good ingredients that are also good for dark circles. So there's no problem putting that on your lashes and just like massaging it in a little bit, just so it really reaches like your roots, you know? And it does not even irritate your eyes at all. It's such a soft and subtle product. And at the end, I go ahead and use a, like a lip balm, really whatever is available. I'm not really particular about it. As long as I use a lip scrub, my lips are fine, okay? This one smells nice. It's like the Nivea watermelon shine. I love it. It smells so good. It smells like watermelon. Just reminds me of summer. That's the only thing that keeps me happy. Okay, nice fragrances. And also at the very last, I'm gonna just cleanse my lashes a little bit. Take off the glue manually, like so. And then just like brush them through. And because I never apply mascaras on my falsies, they just stay clean and I can just reuse these like a hundred times, okay? And also guys, what's really important to know is that whatever products you apply, make sure you give like a little bit of space or like a gap in between. You don't want to just keep applying everything one by one, okay? You have to leave like about two minutes in between every single product application. That way you get maximum benefits from every single product that you apply, okay? So take your time with your nighttime skincare routine because I believe it's like the most important. It is only during the night where your skin gets the time enough to heal, to build new skin cells, to repair skin cells and just regenerate new skin cells. And the speed of that depends on how good your nighttime skincare routine really is. So I cannot emphasize enough on your nighttime skincare routine. You won't regret buying good quality skincare products because your skin will thank you later, okay? So don't be afraid of spending like good 15 minutes on your nighttime skincare routine because it helps. I think I've had enough of the aesthetics, okay? I'm just gonna take these off because I'm getting tired and annoyed. Also, I forgot to mention that whatever product you apply on your face, please make sure the same product goes on your neck as well as on your ears. Since I was so about the aesthetics at the time, let me just go ahead again with the moisturizer, okay? The Cerave one. And apply a little bit to my ears because that honestly, that is so important. I tell you, your ears can get dry quickly and your ears can also get like rashes on the back, you know? So it's really important that even in the daytime, you definitely apply sunblock on your ears but also in the nighttime, make sure you also apply the moisturizers and everything else that you're applying on your skin, on your face, goes to your neck as well as on your ears. And also, if you can, make sure everything also goes on your hands because everybody keeps asking, how do you care for your hands? Because it's so important, right? I think in a lot of my videos, I also mentioned how hand gestures are so important and they make you look very feminine and elegant. So make sure you take care of your hands and you can do that by just applying everything to your hands Whatever goes on your face, goes on your hands too. And if you want to take it a step further, then everything that goes to your face,
goes on your feet too and your feet are gonna look pretty and you're gonna thank me later okay my whole nighttime skincare routine it's been like the same routine ever since autumn started anyway um, I do sometimes keep changing like my serums and stuff like that but for the most part these are the steps that I follow and it keeps my skin healthy and glowy and kind of pretty okay uh, and healthy enough so that I can continue to do my makeup tutorials every single day for you guys okay? so guys don't forget to follow my Facebook page which is Lady Isha and you can catch me live there every day doing makeup and also don't forget to visit ishacosmetics.com and most of these products are available on the website and especially don't forget to get your glam growth hair oils if you want full original lengthy big shiny frizz free manageable hair then start using the Glam Growth Hair Oils, use them once or twice a week, and then shampoo as usual, and then you're gonna thank me later, okay? my video guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you have any suggestions for new videos please let me know in the comments below do give this video a thumbs up because it helps me reach more people and that's what I want okay and show some love and take care of yourself and take care of your well-being because that's very important bye